I pretty much always enjoy holiday themed episodes of sitcoms and Thanksgiving is no exception. This is the eighth episode of the first season of The Middle. This is directed by Michael Spiller and as always there will be spoilers from now as I talk about what happens in this episode and share some thoughts. It's a great episode. I think it's quite unpredictable. We get a proper introduction to a certain character which is really exciting. Really strong episode. It starts off establishing that it's about Thanksgiving and Frankie tells Mike to invite his father and Brick wants to go to a corn maze and we find out that Brick's never actually been because he is the third child. The family have done it all already and by this point things are just a bit chaotic and I imagine that's probably quite relatable for some people. We then find out that Brad had asked Sue to be his girlfriend which is really exciting. I don't remember... The introduction to Brad, obviously I've seen the show many times before, so I'm well aware of the character of Brad, but it's an exciting development for Sue, certainly. Frankie is then at work, down at Alton Motors, and Frankie invites Bob to Thanksgiving, which is really nice, and then they find out they have to work Thanksgiving, which sucks, <laughs> absolutely sucks. As, as somebody pointed out in the episode, at some point, who's buying a car on Thanksgiving Day? I'm sure somebody will, but... It hardly seems worth it to open on Thanksgiving Day and Frankie manages to get the evening shift so she can at least spend Thanksgiving Day with her family and then Sue comes over with Brad. He's played by, and I'm going to pronounce this incorrectly, but I made the effort. I want to say Brock Ciarelli, but I watched a clip on YouTube of a host introducing him and she pronounced it Charlelli. So if anybody can confirm the pronunciation, please feel free to do so. But either way, brilliant actor. Love what he brings to the show. Really great introduction here. And Mike was initially concerned that Sue had a boyfriend. But when they meet Brad, they realize they probably don't need to worry because it's very clear that Brad is gay. He might not realize it yet, but this is certainly the impression he's giving. At Frankie's insistence, Mike then goes to visit his father, Big Mike, played by John Cullum, and this is the introduction to the character, and as Mike predicted, he asks his father to come to Thanksgiving, his father says he doesn't want to be a bother, they go back and forth quite a lot. Meanwhile, Frankie is trying to organise Thanksgiving, and this includes organising her work schedule, which is not going according to plan, organising activities for everybody... Apparently they pushed Black Friday forward, so she's trying to fit that in as well. It sounds chaotic. And she decides nobody cares, nobody's making the effort, she cancels Thanksgiving. And we cut to the next morning, and the kids come downstairs, Mike is already there, Frankie is at work. There's no Thanksgiving preparation. And it's actually quite a sweet moment because obviously the kids are, are baffled by this. And Mike says they're going to make the effort to prepare Thanksgiving for Frankie. And I think that that's really lovely. And I imagine a lot of people can relate to that. I imagine a lot of families do have one person in the household, whether it's the mother or the father or somebody else, who is the one who organises everything, who does the meal, who prepares everything. And it just became too much for Frankie. Nobody else was bothering to help. So she just said, forget it. And if this is a, a bit of a, a wake-up call for anybody in a similar situation, had they initially offered to help out, for example, if Mike had initially said, don't worry, go to work in the morning, I'll, do, I'll start cooking the dinner, it would have solved a lot of problems beforehand. So I think we have some nice messages here about not letting, unless they like it, not letting one person do absolutely everything because it's not going to go according to plan. Axel is even forced to pitch in where he takes Brick to the corn maze. We get some scenes in the corn maze, very well shot, really enjoyable. Not necessarily enjoyable for Axel because he kind of loses Brick. I didn't mind how that played out. I thought it was quite a nice, a nice location and I, and I quite liked it. We then have, over the course of a few minutes... A lot of different emotions towards Mr. Ellert because Frankie goes to see him and is about to demand that everybody goes home because they shouldn't be open on Thanksgiving. And he gets emotional because his wife left him. And in that moment, I think it's fair to say that it was very easy to feel sorry for him. And I, like Frankie, came to the conclusion that he was forcing everybody to work on Thanksgiving Day because he didn't want to spend the holiday alone. It's harsh, but it's a reasonable excuse. And we spend some time with him and Frankie has some conversation with him. And 
Then he lets slip that the reason his wife left him was because he's working on Thanksgiving Day. He's not working because his wife left him. His wife left him because he's working. And I think it's fair to say that in that moment, opinions are turned back to the way they used to be about Mr. Ellert. And Frankie has had enough. She goes home. She's had quite a, a bit to drink. Bob takes her home. And surprise, everybody is there around the dinner table. And it's it's a beautiful, beautiful moment. And it's really wonderfully done. And even Brad's there, which is slightly bizarre. But as Sue pointed out, his parents are just happy he has a girlfriend. And then Bob comes in. And we do have a moment that could have been slightly awkward because Frankie had previously told Bob she'd cancelled Thanksgiving dinner. And then here's Bob in her home. But she explains they surprised her. Bob goes to get the yams with extra marshmallows in. Is that a thing? That sounds revolting, but I kind of want to try it. And... It's it's a delightful, well, briefly a delightful scene, but Frankie has obviously had a lot to drink. And the next thing we know, she's lying on the bathroom floor. The family have gone out to do the Black Friday shopping on her behalf while she rests at home. And it's it's a really sweet moment. And I thought it was a really beautiful episode. I think it's probably also very realistic as well. I obviously am in the UK. I don't celebrate Thanksgiving, but any holiday of any kind, Christmas or anything else, I think there's a strong element of relatability about how chaotic things can actually be. But even if you don't have the element of relatability, I thought it was a brilliantly, brilliantly executed episode. Very fun, great introduction to Brad as a character, and a nice introduction to Mike's father as well. All things considered, I thought Thanksgiving was a pretty brilliant episode, and I'm not really surprised about that at all. 